So let's understand that the world we're living in is a beautiful place as always. Who we'll always tell you this? It's a beautiful place. Uh, life is life. There's no good or bad life. You, you were given just life. Well, you would make your life good and uh, by what you do to yourself every day, the kind of thoughts you choose to entertain, then or you will make your life bad um, or good by what you choose to allow into your head. Like, your head can become a prison to you and also it can become a card into you and um, it can become a fertile ground to you. So everyone has what their heads um, eat, um, hard to them because um, it's a big thing but um, we all should understand that every thought you think do have an effect upon your life if the thought is repeated so for this meditation right now we want to break free from um, old pattern habitual way of thinking and viewing things and perceiving things because what matters is how you perceive life if you perceive life the wrong way you have a bad life Perceive life the right way, you have a good life, you have a sweet life. Ecstasy is your portion. So we want to break free from old ways of living, old ways of thinking, and old ways of um, portending the future. Now, if I may ask you right now in this meditation, what are, how hopeful are you about your future? Many of you are despondent. Many of you are hopeless. Like, you just don't know what will happen in your future because you don't just feel there will be hope. You don't just believe there will be hope. Many of you right now. Um, why? Because among the infinite potential and the quantum model of reality, you are selecting the worst possible outcome. For every future you predict, most of us are selecting the worst possible outcome. For instance, tomorrow, what will happen to you? Majority of us would predict that we would have the worst experience majority of us will predict that we'll be kicked out of our house majority of us will predict that we'll write the exam and never make it majority of us will predict that uh, tomorrow we would never um, be at our best behavior we'll never perform um, um, uh, on our best behavior like things like that the quantum model of reality it shows that it tells us that everything is a particle the earth is a particle we all humans we are all particles in the universe okay we all vibrate that is it so your wishes your goals everything vibrates and there is infiniteness like there's um the universe is not finite at all it is just infinite spreads through the world spreads through the entire galaxies go on and on so in this meditation right now you have to understand for you to break free from old thinking old ways of living you must understand that um you are always selecting the worst possible outcome and you doing that is not something that is true that you do something always does not mean it is true doesn't mean doesn't mean it is correct so you're always selecting the worst possible the worst possible outcome for yourself so how do you free yourself from old ways of living old ways of thinking you have to then free yourself from this attitude of always selecting the worst possible outcome for yourself for your future and for your life so for this meditation as we want to go lala as we want to go baba as we want to go boo boo it is advised that you meditate accordingly and uh, make sure you stop all thoughts of thoughts when you stop um, all thoughts you stop resistant thoughts okay so that is what we want to do right now so as we go go with us and make sure you you watch your thoughts as always make sure you're you, you're you're not moving at all be static when you are static it helps create resonance between your heart and your cells be static okay be static make sure you don't move energy should be conserved no potential is converted to kinetic everything should be conserved don't move your body stay static observe how your heart beats observe your blood pump how it pumps the pace at which it pumps just feel the pulse from your arteries feel those things those things are extraordinary we could not have known where we come from 
Biology tells you there is a one source that produced everything, that produced everybody. But if that is true, then how do we have different races we have today? White, brown people, black people, how? If we are from one source, then we wouldn't have such race, different races. We having different races shows that we are not from one source. The closest way to discover where we're from is to just understand that we are here. Say it, we are here. affecting your brain so watch your thoughts watch your thoughts you watch your brain you watch your brain you have good life to create your future create your future and predict how it, who, how it should be predict your future right now create your future right now who do you really want to end up with if you are a girl who do you want to marry visualize it right now put yourself in that house with that man having the qualities you want in meditation it's preferable you create from the unknown don't put in anybody you know in your meditation. Make sure everything in your meditation is unknown. That is the best way to create. The best way to create is to create from the unknown. La 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 Touch the floor. No. 
la 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 touch of fusion feel the share the chair you sitting in that you have dreamed touch it feel it if you can start to feel it it means it has already come to you and by law of the universe it must show up in your real life experience because you have touched it this is the law all great people teach you might practice it right now and see that what they all say is true la 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 